haven't dealt with it. Sigurdsson hits the back of the net once again. A cool finish from a man who is red hot in the European qualifiers. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another International Man of the Match player review on FIFA 16 and today we are going to be looking at the Icelandic and Swansea superstar Gilfie Sigurdsson. If you do enjoy this player review a lot, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on it, get yourself a 25 likes, that would be amazing and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well if you are new around here. But um, Sigurdsson is a player that I used to love, I think he was on FIFA 14 or 13, he had an informed card which I absolutely like, like I say, loved it. So I was actually quite excited to uh, try this card out, but um, he stands at 6 foot 1 inches tall, he's got 3 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot, high medium work rates, his price bands are between 9.8k and 100k, he seems to be going for a the 35 to 40k mark ish today but um, he is only yet for the one day so it's hard to say he might creep up a little bit after today. Now getting into his base card and in-game stats he's an 80 rated central midfielder his uh, base card stats you're looking at 68 pace 77 dribbling 82 shooting so, uh, 83 passing sorry about that uh, 55 defending and 70 physical and his top five in-game stats are 88 free kick accuracy 87 vision 85 curve 85 long shots and 84 shot pair he also comes with a long shot taker and free kick specialist traits and specialities. You can see the team that we used to be in on screen now. It's a, uh, it's a pretty standard team really. Completely BPL. We're playing him in the 4-3-1-2 with the uh, Gilbert Sigurdsson of course in the camp position and you can see he got a return of 6 goals and 2 assists in the 5 games that he played which isn't too shabby whatsoever. Uh, as we start to get into the clips of Sigurdsson in action now he's a very... Um, He's a very well-rounded card. He's one of these cards that he does everything reasonably well, but he does nothing exceptionally well. And um, the one thing I was a little bit disappointed with was, was, was his long shots. I mean, it was one of those. I wasn't sure if I was just a bit unlucky or they just weren't very good because I think I hate the post on multiple occasions. I thought some really good stats there to goalkeepers, but I didn't manage to score one really like blinding long shot, unfortunately. But what he did bring to the table was fantastic finishing. He showed good strength when he was on the ball, which I always find is the case. Even if your play is not particularly quick if you've got someone in an attacking position and they're like six foot one six foot two plus you can just hold off people when you are running a lot of the time like i've already mentioned as well he's a very very well-rounded card the only real negatives are the fact that he hasn't got a fantastic weak foot or skill move set of course if you had four star skill moves and four star weak foot that would make him a much much better card and the fact that he's icelandic as well i mean Iceland. He's in the Premier League, which is nice, but he's playing for Swansea, so it's difficult to really link him in with a really OP team outside of the Premier League, if that makes sense. So it's not easy to link, but overall, he is a very solid card. Overall, we're going to be giving him a 7.9 out of 10. Like I say, nothing incredibly exceptional, but a very well-rounded card. Nowhere near the card that he had on FIFA 30, by the way, if you're wondering. That card was incredible that I used to like. Didn't come close to that one, but still a reasonably decent card, and definitely someone different you could chuck into a team for the fact that it's a really nice looking card and like I say it's just someone a little bit different you could use but um, that is going to bring this player review to an end lads hope you all did enjoy it I'll speak to you all with the squad builder tomorrow so uh, hope you have a good night speak to you there and you need you out Yo, his niche plays with big games and player reviews are getting insane. He entertains while he elevates his video quality resonates on career mode. He got lots of vids uploading off and he's rocking it. He's got the confidence in all his commentaries. Videos range, they often vary. Got need for speed and a road to glory. Just watching vids and you know the story. The content is underrated. I'm understating, so don't ignore the like and subscribe button to support the channel that keeps running. It takes one second, like it's free. It costs nothing. Peace.